Watch Dogs for PS4. Stop Watch Review. Let's start the review. Watch Dogs is a solid game. That's it, a solid game. The reason why I say just that is that Watch Dogs is nothing truly special. Ever since the revealed trailer of Watch Dogs, the only thing that stood out for me was its parkour-esque chase sequences. The whole hacking everyone's life thing didn't totally intrigue me honestly before and after beating the game. From my perspective, I'll be judging Watch Dogs as a classic open world game, whether it functions well as one or not. The answer to this question is certainly. On PS4, Watch Dogs is a beautiful reimagining of Chicago that is accompanied by an impressive engine and graphical presentation. One thing I can safely say about this game is that I didn't see any glitching or frame rate dips. Well, there were frame rate dips, but only in the two seconds when you gain experience and level up. As for gameplay, this game is pretty solid. The CTOS made a lot of moments very customizable and allowed to escape or ensnare pursuers or victims in every interesting way possible but it was nothing too memorable for me. Car physics were just a piece of shit, but nothing unadaptable. If I ever saw a bike, I hopped right on it, because I found their physics to be near perfect and easily manipulated to turn OP. Another small problem I found with driving was the lack of being able to drive and shoot out the window, something GTA has completely spoiled me with. On the flip side, my favorite part of the game is easily Aiden. Why everyone says he's boring and flat, I don't know. All I know is that I thoroughly enjoyed him and I put him up there with John Marston and Cole Phelps along with my favorite open world protagonists of all time. Overall, this game is solid, but I found nothing special with it. With that said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this game. We good? We good. Watch Dogs gets an 8 out of 10.